I've nearly finished my second orienteering competition. For the last few controls I've been practicing my control flow, approaching the control smoothly and leaving in the right direction while starting to plan my next route. At my first competition, I learned that GPS navigational aids, like my iPhone, are not allowed in orienteering competitions, but there are a number of other basic rules that should also be observed. Orienteering events are often held on private property, so it's important to go through fences only where there are marked crossings. I can't go through that gate just there because it would be taking me into an out-of-bounds area. Areas that are out-of-bounds on the map are shown with this symbol. Anyone who has crossed an out-of-bounds area can be disqualified from the competition. So that's my second orienteering event. Finished and it's not even dark yet. Thanks, it was great fun. So I have to ask you, are there any other rules I should be thinking about? Well, you should never grab someone else's map. Do people do that? Yeah, more often than not, people grab other people's maps so they can see where they are. I'd punch them then. Well, you're not allowed to do any sort of physical violence, sorry. No physical violence. No. Anything else? Well, you're not actually supposed to talk to other people either out on while you're doing your competition. So that means I would have been disqualified today? Yeah, but normally there's extra allowances for novice orienteers and for young kids. Young kids are often followed by their parents, like a shadow, uh, to act as a bit of a safety net, I guess. What if I'm seriously injured? Well, most organisers will recommend that you take out a whistle out in the course so that if you do get in trouble or get injured, give a quick blow on the whistle or just yell out for help. And anyone hearing that is obliged to abandon that course and come over and help out. So if I heard a whistle, I'd have to stop what I was doing and help them? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Right, anything else? Uh, generally, dogs aren't allowed out at events either. So I can't take my dog for a run with me then? Uh, generally not. Uh, particularly on areas when we go around to private land and state parks. Okay, I've got it. Nothing more? Oh, and no standing at the control and shouting, it's over here. People do that? Yeah, quite a bit.